To acquire huge wealth, entrepreneurs often spend many years working hard. According to Forbes, the average age of billionaires nowadays is 65 years old. Among them, the oldest billionaire is the insurance tycoon, George Joseph, 102 years old. However, among the thousands of billionaires around the world, there are still relatively young names that have not yet turned 30, but already own a net worth of billions of dollars, even though they are only in their 20s. But thanks to their outstanding business talent or, more simply, inheriting their family wealth, they quickly entered the top of the world's billionaires. Recently, Forbes magazine published a list of the world's 10 youngest billionaires, including some who are only 18 years old. In today's video, Luxury Style will share you information about these young and talented billionaires. Ten. In the tenth place is Ryan Breslow, 29 years old, net worth 1.1 billion USD. Ryan Breslow was born in 1994 and is an American businessman. Breslow was born and raised in North Miami Beach, Florida, being the son of Heather and Eric R. Breslow. Breslow started his path to billions of people in the driving range, not the computer room. He grew up in North Miami Beach in a family of dynamic small business owners. His grandfather once ran a jeans store, a small accounting firm, and a seafood market. His parents' business is running Aqua Golf, a favorite local golf course. Breslow spent his youth cleaning clubs, standing at cash registers and scooping balls with fishing nets. He said, From an early age, my father taught me the value of a U.S. dollar. He himself learned programming thanks to online tutorials and YouTube. He founded an online mattress company called Memory Foam Doctor, and built websites for Bal Harbor, a luxurious shopping mall, and Unknown, a streetwear brand funded by LeBron James. Having been a former stock boy at the grocery chain Publix during high school, he became the co-founder and president of Bolt, a one-click payment technology company. The co-founder of Eco, a digital cryptocurrency platform. The co-founder of Love, a crypto pharmaceutical startup. And the founder of the non-profit dance organization, The Movement. As a health advocate, Breslow said on Instagram that he built conscious companies and initiated a four-day work week for his 700 employees. 9. In the ninth place is Leonardo Maria Del Vecchio, 28 years old. Net worth, 3.5 billion USD. Leonardo Maria, 28 years old, is the only child of Leonardo Del Vecchio, the late president, dying in 2022, of Essilor Luxottica the world's largest eyewear company, with his second wife, Zampito. Leonardo Maria has an estimated asset of 3.5 billion USD. He inherited a 12.5% stake in his father's Luxembourg-based holding company, Delphin, upon his death, along with his mother and six half-siblings. In addition to his position as chief strategy officer of Essilor Luxottica, Delphin also owns shares in insurance company Generali, Banks Mediobanca, and Unicredit, real estate developer Covivio, and the CEO of eyewear retailer Salmoragi and Vigano. A series of globally famous eyewear brands are owned by the Luxottica Group, founded by Leonardo Del Vecchio. It can be said that besides having business ability, Leonardo Maria is one of the rich kids born from the finish line. 8. In the 8th place is Katharina Anderson, 28 years old. Net worth, 1.5 billion USD. Katharina Gamlemshaug Andresen was born on May 21, 1995, is a Norwegian billionaire. Katharina's private life has been hidden quite well. This national media said that she studied social sciences at the University of Amsterdam and interned at Ernst & Young. Along with her sister Alexandra, the 28-year-old Norwegian heiress is the sixth-generation owner of investment company Ferd. With more than 1.5 billions in the bank, she is still working as a sustainability officer at an Oslo-based construction company. She owns 42% of Ferd's shares. Although the Andresen family are not familiar names globally, they are one of the most famous families in Norway. According to Forbes, the Ferd empire originated in 1849, when the family took over a tobacco company. However, in 2005, that branch of the business was sold to Skandinavisk Tobakskompani, 
for about $500 million due to the family's ethical concerns about the tobacco industry. Nowadays, Ferd has grown into a big company in Norway, holding part ownership in companies in the industrial and financial sectors, as well as real estate portfolios around the world. Its investment portfolio includes private equity in companies such as Swix, a Norwegian ski equipment manufacturer, carton packaging company Elopac, and construction materials company Mestergruppen. Although she owns a huge amount of assets that can last for three generations, according to her family's education, Katharina said that she and her family members were taught to be frugal and not to spend wastefully or lavishly. 7. In the seventh place is Vong Trash Long, 26 years old. Net worth, 1.4 billion USD. Wang is one of more than 600 billionaires in China, the youngest billionaire in Asia, and the youngest billionaire in China. His wealth comes from his shares in CNNC Huayuan Titanium Dioxide, a pigment manufacturing company listed on Shenzhen Stock Exchange and Lomon Billions Group. The 26-year-old is from Shaozuo, a small city in China, and has an estimated net worth of $1.4 billion. Most young billionaires work in the technology sector, but Vuong Trach Long works in the dye manufacturing sector. According to business leader, Vuong's company produces titanium dioxide dyes used in coatings, plastics, and printing inks. Although he is the youngest billionaire in Asia, he is very private about his personal life. Like many other businessmen, there is very little information about him personally. He has left almost no trace on the internet, has no official social network accounts or online profiles documenting his professional activities. 6. In the sixth place is Alexandra Anderson, 26 years old. Being Katharina's younger sister, Alexandra also inherited a billion-dollar fortune from her father's company, owning 42% of Ferd's shares. Besides his family business, the Norwegian rich kid is also an experienced horse racer on the international racetrack and has assets worth $1.5 billion. Despite holding such huge assets, the female billionaire born in 1997 in Oslo has a life that is completely different from what people think. While her sister is passionate about fashion, often appearing in luxurious styles, Alexandra Andresen is familiar with the simple and everyday. Alexandra was born on the finish line, but was always taught to live modestly and frugally. This was instilled in her blood from an early age. Despite being the daughter of one of Norway's most famous businessmen, Alexandra is not interested in business. Instead, she had an endless passion for horseback riding, so she became a professional equestrian. She is a talented athlete who has won many major tournaments. Besides, this young female billionaire also loves traveling, experiencing, and exploring. On her personal page, Alexandra regularly shares pictures of her traveling and exploring new lands. Currently, Alexandra is not involved in running the company, but she spends most of her time doing charity work with a fund established by her family company. 5. In the fifth place is Luca Del Vecchio, 21 years old. Net worth, 3.5 billion USD. Luca Del Vecchio was born in 2001 from Italy, one of two children of Leonardo Del Vecchio, the former boss of Luxottica and Sabrina Grossi, the former member of the board of directors and the former director of investor relations, IR, in Luxottica. At the age of 21, he acquired a huge fortune along with his siblings when his father passed away in 2022. Luca does not currently hold any leadership role in Luxottica. However, he still has a net worth of up to 3.5 billion USD. He is also one of the rich kids whose personal life is quite private. Four. In the fourth place is Kim Jung Min, 21 years old. Net worth 1.7 billion USD. Kim Jung Min was born in 2002. This 21-year-old girl is one of two daughters of the tycoon behind Nexon Group. She is said to have inherited a third of the family's assets when their father Kim Jung Ju passed away in February 2022. Kim Jung Ju is the founder of game production company Nexon, known to produce game titles like Maple Story and Wins. Nexon Corporation was founded by Kim Jung Ju and Jake Song on December 26, 
1994. Despite being founded in Seoul, South Korea, the main office is currently located in Japan. They have many offices around the world, including Korea, Taiwan, Thailand, and the United States. The first game the company developed and published was Nexus, The Kingdom of the Winds, released in 1996. After nearly 10 years as a private company, Nexon decided to list its shares on December 14, 2011, on the Tokyo Stock Exchange. The company's initial public offering became the largest in Japan of the year and the second largest worldwide for a technology company. Since then, the company began acquiring various game developers, including Maryland-based mobile game developer Big Huge Games. In 2016, the company continued to acquire and invest into different investment opportunities. By 2021, the company invested about $874 million in Bandai Namco Holdings, Konami, Hasbro, and Sega Sammy Holdings. In legal documents in early September 2022, Kim Jong-min and his younger sister jung Yoon each inherited 30.78% of the shares in NXC, the company owned by their late father. NXC is the largest shareholder of Nexon, listed in Japan, with nearly 48% of shares. Thereby, the total shares of the two sisters in NXC and Nexon are worth 2.5 billion USD. According to Forbes's calculations, after deducting inherited money, the amount is 1.5 billion USD per person. 3. In the third place is Kevin David Lehman, 20 years old. Net worth, 2.3 billion USD. At the age of 20, this German heir has an asset worth 2.3 billion dollars. The young man made billions of dollars by inheriting a 50% stake from his father, Gwenther Lehmann, in Germany's leading pharmacy chain, DM, Drugery Markt, when he was 14 years old. However, he only owned this fortune when he turned 18 years old in 2020. DM Drogery Markt is the leading drugstore chain in Germany, founded in 1973. According to DM Drogery Markt's website, this company currently has more than 3,400 stores with more than 41,000 employees throughout Germany. This company earns about 12 billion USD each year. According to Forbes, currently, both Lehman and his father are not involved in running the company. Both also hardly appear in the media. Despite being young and wealthy, Lehman does not appear publicly on any major social media platforms. Searching for the name of this young billionaire through search engines did not yield many results. 2. In the second place is Kim jong Yoon, 19 years old. Net worth, 1.7 billion USD. Kim jong Yoon, born in 2004, is the daughter of a Korean game tycoon. She is the younger sister of billionaire Kim Jong-min and also ranked fourth on the list of the world's youngest billionaires in 2023, according to Forbes's vote. She also inherited 30.78% of the shares from her late father's company. Kim Jong-un also keeps personal information and images private, like her sister. Although teenage billionaire Kim Jong-un has a large stake in the business, according to Forbes, her father pledged that his children would not be given the right to run the company when he passes away. In a statement in 2018, the game's founder confirmed that the company's management will be handled by experienced leaders to keep the business transparent and create a fair corporate culture, according to the investor. The decision to ensure that the company would be managed by the right leadership helped Jungju focus on more charity work later on. 1. Topping the ranking of the world's youngest billionaires this year is an Italian guy, Clemente Del Vecchio. Net worth, 3.5 billion USD. Clemente Del Vecchio is only 18 years old, the youngest heir of the Del Vecchio family, and also this year's youngest billionaire. Not much is known about the teenager who owns a fortune of $3.5 billion thanks to his late father's Luxottica eyewear company. The Italian giant owns eyewear brands such as Ray-Ban, Armani Exchange, Burberry, Dolce & Gabbana, and Prada eyewear. Italian media called this guy one of the most desired golden descendants on the planet. Giant Luxottica currently owns eyewear brands such as Armani Exchange, Burberry, Dolce & Gabbana, and Prada eyewear. Before his death in 2022, the late chairman Leonardo Del Vecchio was the second richest person in Italy 
after Giovanni Ferrero of Nutella Production Group. In addition to owning the Luxottica brand, Mr. Leonardo's Delphine Company is the largest shareholder in the Italian financial services group, Mediobanca, holding 10% of shares in Italy's largest insurance company, Generali, and owning about 7% of shares of real estate company, Covivio, which is listed in both Paris and Milan. According to Forbes, Leonardo Del Vecchio left behind a fortune worth 27.3 billions. In particular, Clemente inherited 12.5% of the shares in his father's Luxembourg-based Delphine company. Billionaire Clemente rarely appears publicly, and images of this young man are extremely few. According to some news sites, Clemente is currently living in Italy with his mother and brother. They all own large assets in many different countries around the globe. Becoming rich is a long-term goal that many people aim for. However, the road to wealth is not always paved with roses. Not everyone was born with a golden spoon, but the assets they own are the result of strategic vision. According to NASDAQ, the key strategy to earn $1 billion is to think long-term and not try to get rich quickly. Many people try to make money quickly by investing in cheap stocks or participating in risky projects. However, this is not the way to become rich. Billionaires build assets so that they can last for many years. They don't try to make quick money, but invest for the future. The most common way that billionaires achieve great success is by creating something new of great value and starting their own business. When you create something new, you have the potential to revolutionize an industry and make a lot of money in the process. It can be a product or a service, sometimes both. Ordinary people believe that rich people work all the time. It's the truth. However, the difference is that they found their passion and pursued it. They do not feel like they are working because they do what they love and get paid for it. The great wealth transfer is really accelerating. The world's new billionaires are inheriting more wealth than they built themselves. UBS's survey results show that in 2023, there will be 84 new self-made billionaires appearing in the world with a total assets of 141 billion USD. In addition, there are 53 new billionaires who inherited assets from previous generations with a total asset of 151 billion USD. There are also differences between different generations of billionaires in the types of assets they prefer. Older investors tend to expand their portfolios to private bonds and credit, while younger investors favor stocks of publicly listed companies and private equity firms. Mr. Fleming, the asset manager of Stone Age Fleming Company in London, said, It is a good thing that responsible heirs are taking over a great number of assets at this time. It is important to ensure that the next generation is well prepared to shoulder the responsibility. And you, how do you feel about the assets of the world's youngest billionaires and which one are you most impressed by? Please share with us below in the comment section. See you again in Luxury Style's latest videos.